Hi, welcome to I Breathe, I DIY. This is Sarah, thank you for joining me. For today's project, I'm going to transform this velvet chair from the taupe gray it is now to a vibrant peacock blue. For this project, I'm going to be using your standard art chalk paint. You can find it at your local craft store. Working in small sections, dampen the fabric of the chair with your spray bottle. Not wet, just damp. Apply the first coat to the whole chair. It will be thin and that's okay. Let it dry for 24 hours. When you're brushing the paint on, make sure that you're working it into the fabric, being firm with the brush and moving in different directions. Once the paint has dried for 24 hours, it will be crusty, a little stiff, so you're gonna to wanna to sand it to soften it up. You can use 120 grit sandpaper or a pumice stone and bristle brush. Now that the fabric is soft again, you can apply your second coat. On a project like this, it does take two to three coats of paint to get the coverage you need. The best fabrics for this project are those that are smooth in texture, no large prints, and a low nap. Make sure you get the sides and the back Go ahead and trim on the edges. Don't worry about getting the paint on any wood trim because it wipes right off. Again, work in small areas, dampening as needed. The great thing about a project like this is how you can bring new life to an old piece of furniture. Changing the decor of a room doesn't mean that you have to have the enormous expense of buying new furniture. It's an easy weekend project to change your entire dining room set. And it really is fun to watch everything transform. Once you've sanded your final coat, you get to move on to the waxing. This is really going to seal in the paint so it doesn't transfer onto any clothing. This is a sealing wax and you want to apply it in small areas. I am using a clear wax because I don't want to dull down the blue. Apply even coats and let it sit for just a few minutes. Using a lint-free rag, buff the wax into the fibers of the fabric, giving it a nice seal. Continue on with the rest of the chair, working in small sections as you go. Luckily, you only need to do one coat of this. As you can see, an easy process made a huge difference in the transformation of this chair. I wanna say thank you again for joining me on I Breathe, I DIY. This was a fun project for me to do and to share with you. So if you love it, please share it. 